I've said it before and I'll keep saying it again and again until it's no longer true. Button locks are hot. Button locks are in. But did you know one company was doing high-end button locks long before manual button locks were cool? <laughs> First off, a big shout out to Marty, aka Knife underscore Eclectic here on YouTube and on Instagram for letting me check this thing out for review. I know it's taken what feels like a lifetime for this video to come out, but that's just the way it goes. At any rate, this is the Alliance Designs Mini Slim Pickens Manual Button Lock, and this full titanium manual button lock flipper predates the Protec Malibu by a full two years. Now, this particular Mini Slim Pickens is called the Heavy Metal Mini Slim Pickens, and that's because the overlaid scales and the clip and the backspacer are zirconium. And the blade, yep, oh, that's damn steel. Uh, Looks-wise, all of the heavy metal insanity aside, it is, as the name suggests, not that big. Closed up, we have a hint of that blade peeking out, uh, a super minimal and well gymmed little flipper tab at the back of the handle spine, and stonewashed titanium peeking out, making these kind of faux bolsters nested up against those big slabs of zirconium that are the overlaid scales. And now, up until this knife showing up, I had never had any kind of experience with zirconium, and looks-wise, it just looks like really dark titanium, but weight-wise, it feels like wrought iron. So keep that in mind if this particular version is on your wish list. Weight, uh, the weight is kind of insane. The handles are nicely chamfered and subtly contoured to aid with in-hand comfort, and overall, it's kind of just this rounded, contoured blob of exotic metals. Opened up, however, we are met with a delightfully symmetrical and sensually clean profile. The blade is this nice, tall, chode-like drop point, rocking an exceptionally clean and uber-deep hollow grind. On the blade spine, we have a nice touch of jimping, and of course, the obvious buckwild damasteel pattern everywhere you look. It's a nice-looking knife overall, It's and it's one that has always caught my eye, and now having it in hand, those eye-catching looks are all the more apparent. Now then, moving on to the Ergos. Ergonomically, even though this isn't really a, a long knife, it's relatively tall and very thick, so it will fill any size hand up insanely well. And thanks to the subtle contouring and soft edges, it's magnificently comfortable. Squeeze as hard as you can, I dare you. I double dog dare you. You will not feel the clip. You will not feel any sharp edges or, or pinch points. You'll just feel right at home. Add on that full size and fully usable finger choil and subtle jimping on the blade spine and backspacer, and it's like holding your lover after 40 years at war, her not knowing whether you were ever to return. She had almost given up hope a, a few times, but she had held on. Held on just long enough for you to walk through the front door of your little ranch in the suburbs, drop your bags, pick her up, and hold her in your arms. No doubt there will have been tears. That, my friends, that's how the Ergos feel on this piece. Excellent stuff. And speaking of excellence, let's talk about that Buck Wild Damn Steel Blade. As I mentioned before, this sub 3 inch drop point style blade is short, yes, but it's good and tall. Pair that blade height with a nice deep hollow grind, and you have what can only be described as an absolute razor beam trademark pending. This thing was made to melt through any and every piece of soft material it comes in contact with. There is no doubt in my mind if I had ever once made a wrong move while reviewing this one, I would have ended up with stitches, which honestly in my book is a very good thing. In Insane cutting performance, top notch edge retention, and looks that could quite literally kill an excellent blade top to bottom. And finally, the action. This short, chovy 18 pound button lock does not disappoint in the action department. Outwardly, yes, this is a flipper and a flipper only, but if you want it bad enough, and if you try hard enough, you can totally reverse flick it. And if, if I were to buy one, or I guess when I do buy one, I will be sure to have some thumb studs installed. Because, I mean, why not? I'm a YouTube reviewer of pocket knives. Why wouldn't I go all out? But as is, right out of the box, it is a flipper. 
and that little borderline unnoticeable flipper tab works exceptionally well. The detent is good and snappy, no play or lock rock to report, and once you break that spring tension, that blade just absolutely rockets out into the open position. And on the close, thanks to those deliciously smooth caged bearings, oh, that little stubby blade swings home with just a simple push of the button. I mean, what else could you ask for from a high-end manual button lock flipper? It flips insanely well, makes a cacophony of clicks and clacks, and then you press a button and it freaking drops. Grade A, top-notch action, no doubt about it. So where does all this leave me with the Alliance Designs Heavy Metal Slim Pickens? A, or I guess mini Slim Pickens? Or just this knife in general? Well, I want one. I've wanted one really badly, even before this one showed up. But I didn't quite realize how bad I needed this in my life until now. Now being the moment I realize I have to send it back to Marty. It's exceptional. Ergos are great. Build quality, materials, fit and finish are all as good as it gets. That blade is just a slicing machine that could cut a hole through space and time. And the price, all things considered, at least for a non-outrageous Damasteel zirconium version, is not that bad. At retail, these will cost you around 355 bucks for the basic full-time models. For this Damasteel zirconium heavy metal uber cock rock version, expect to pay around 450. And there are many, many versions of this thing available from time to time, anywhere from 360 to 380 dollars. The point is, I love it. I miss it. It's been gone for a while. I'm writing this after it's been sent home, months after it's been sent home, and I need to buy one. I just have to wait, you know, until I'm not poor anymore. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.